Okay, so I'm gonna show you a little training aid that I'm gonna use to get better at golf. Game it only cost me one dollar. Stay tuned. Please subscribe to the channel, like, share, and comment. And please hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. Okay, so as you all know, I'm uh, trying to use a single plane swing to get better at this game here. Full disclosure here, I am not a pro. Uh, I am just your every everyday average golfer. I'm about a 10 handicap right now and I'm trying to get better at this game. And I found a way that I think is gonna really help me. I'm gonna use this $1 fix to, to use as a little homemade training aid to get better over the winter. When I can't get out on the golf course, I'm gonna use this religiously through the winter and try to get better. Okay, so what is this training aid that I'm gonna use? It's a yardstick. It's, a, it's about a dollar, give or take a couple of pennies. I went to the local Home Depot and I picked this thing up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this as not only an alignment tool, but a ball position trainer as well. One of my issues is setup. So setup, a lot of the pros will tell you, is one of the most important things in golf. If you don't have a consistent setup that's repeated every time you step up to the ball, you're, you're not gonna have any consistency with your swing. So I have that issue. I, I line up to the ball and a lot of times it's different than the last time I lined up to the ball. So what I'm doing here is uh, I'm, I'm marking this yardstick with a marker as to where my feet are gonna be positioned, uh, where the ball's gonna be positioned with the various different clubs. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this every time I practice so that I'm in the same position with a seven iron that I always am. I'm in the same position with a pitching wedge, same position with a driver that I always am. I've actually tested this out already, and it, it's amazing how differently I'm setting up to the ball or, or how different it feels compared to what I do normally. So I'm just here kind of showing you what I'm doing to try to get better. Uh, like I said, I'm not a pro, so uh, I, I've taken this from pros though. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos. I see that these kind of ball position training aids exist. So what I did is I actually went to the driving range and I hit a lot of shots with my various clubs and I put the ball position and my feet position where everything I've read about or looked at on YouTube says you're supposed to, the positions that it, they say you're supposed to with a single plane swing and for example driver when I set it up you know I got my feet markings of where my feet are supposed to go and I have where the driver position is supposed to go marked on here and what I did is I didn't make it permanent on here until I found that position where I was hitting consistent straight shots with once I figured that out and I hit like 10 good drives in a row I marked it now I know where my feet are supposed to be and where my driver ball position is supposed to be and how I'm supposed to be standing every single time and I'm gonna use this every time I practice. I'm gonna be inside with a golf simulator that I'm working on in my garage right now. There's gonna be future videos about that, but uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot of training sessions and a lot of like simulated courses and stuff and I'm gonna use this every time. I'm hoping to create like a memory. Now I know there's no such thing as muscle memory, but there is a memory or a habit if you will. I'm hoping to create a habit of setting up to the ball exactly the same way so that I could I could transfer that onto the golf course and get better. So I did the same thing for like my irons. I have my iron ball position positioned at the same spot on this stick. And all that moves with the irons is my feet. My feet are the only thing that move. The ball position stays the same, it's gonna stay consistent. Okay, so it's amazing how differently this sets me up to the ball compared to what I was actually doing. There was no consistency. So for example, with a driver, it's got me putting my feet here and here, pretty wide. Outside of my shoulders there, the ball position is up on the stands here. This is lined up with my target area. It's actually lined up just a little bit right of where I wanna hit the ball. Now, this is a single plane setup right here. I got my tilt. I got the straight arm here. I got this aligned with the shaft. 
and the ball is forward in my stance and it feels like I'm aimed right of where I want to hit it, but I'm not. And this is proof of it. So if I line up like this every single time and I come up and I can return to the ball every single time right there and I practice that over and over and over again, it's going to really help me. So <clears throat> the ball position for like a three wood would kind of move over, over to the left here. So it's more like over here. Um, so the fairway wood, I'm going to close my stance. I'm going to not close my stance. I'm going to take my back foot and I'm going to have less of a wide, you know, a more narrow stance. And I have that marked right there, fairway wood. So I'm a little closer to the ball here when I line up in the middle here. And that's more of a fairway wood. Um, so my irons with a pitching wedge, <clears throat> I've got it right here where I have my uh, positioning of where all my irons are going to be. Every single iron is going to be right there. So my foot's aligned with the edge here where I, where I got foot written on here. And the wedge has a narrower stance than the other irons. So the wedge would be lined up about right there. And this is my setup. And every time I'm going to return to that ball with the same exact place. And again, it feels like I'm aimed right, but feel is not real. I'm not aimed right. Uh, I'm actually aimed right at my target line. Okay. So if I switch to something like a seven iron, okay, so here's a seven iron and I'm going to keep the ball position exactly in the same place. I'm going to put my lead foot and I do flare out my feet a little bit. It helps me with hip mobility and, and uh, my swing and not creating any pain, but that's for another day. So I got my lead foot here. Now first the wedge was here, which was a narrow stance. The seven iron is about out here. Six iron would be about here. All the way out, uh, six iron would be about here. If I go all the, way to, all the way to like a three iron or a hybrid, I'd be out here. But for a seven, I'm right here. I'm reaching out, I got the same exact ball position. And what that does is the seven iron will come in at less of a steep angle. It'll come in at more of a flatter, flatter angle than the pitching wedge. With the pitching wedge, I was here and the club would come a little bit more down on the ball, but it's still in the same position according to my lead foot. It's just my back foot that's changing. And that apparently, according to pros that I'm watching on like YouTube and everything and researching the single plane sw swing, that's really important. And it's important to create this consistency of setup. Setup is one of the most important things. If you don't set up correctly and if you don't set up consistently, you're gonna have a lot of problems. So that's what I'm gonna work on. I'm gonna work on this hardcore during the winter. Okay, so just to let you know, I'm also, I am purposely not showing the actual yardstick and where I put my markings exactly on it because I think it's individual. I think you need to figure out where your ideal setup is for your driver, for your fairway woods, for your hybrids, and for your irons and wedges. Once you figure that out, and you have consistency and you're practicing, you mark it up so that you return to that every single time. I think that's key. So I didn't want to show you exactly where I put mine because that might not be where you put yours. Hey, thank you for watching. I hope this can help you out. It's certainly going to help me. It's already helped me. I've been doing this for about a week now and it's crazy how much more consistent my ball flights are and, and on target they are. I'm not hitting a lot of fat shots or thin shots doing this because it's very repetitive and I'm setting up the same way every time. If you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, please hit the like button and please hit, hit comment. Let me know what you think about this. I mean, this was a dollar. I've seen similar training aids like this sold uh, on, the, on the internet for, I don't know, anywhere from 40 to 50 to 130 to 100. I think, that, I think that you can customize something like this to yourself, to your own setup, to your own height, to your own length of legs and whatnot and arms. And uh, I think it could really be beneficial to you. It's gonna be for me for sure. Uh, I'm gonna have future videos uh, pretty soon. We're gonna be heading into the garage, AKA simulator room. I'm working on getting that done. I'm gonna have a few videos about that in the future. Uh, and when the snow starts coming down here in Rochester, New York, I'm gonna be doing a lot of videos from in there. I got the Garmin R10. So uh, 
subscribe so you don't miss anything.